Once again, welcome back to Fantaruk, and in part three we find ourselves in Biomed, where the arms are glowing and hopefully the syringes are many. Uh, here we go then. Our new objective is to head to the admin section. So it's the admin section we're looking for, and I came in through there, so we've got to go through here, right? This is a door, yeah? Okay, good. Not good. So then, uh, maybe this isn't the safe haven I was looking for. Jesus Christ. Hang on, what was that? Oh, really? Right out the gate. Another syringe? No way. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's two of them I've got now. What's the situation with that? 41%. Not too bad, is it? Locker room? Okay, that's all locked up. The tablet, though. No. Check it out. My flashlight battery is terrible. But not anymore. Okay. Uh... Right. Is it like a keypad for this or something? No? I wonder. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised how often you can like reach through doors in indie games and like use items on the other side. Happens in some like AAA titles as well. Biomed hub? Okay. What's that? Oh, hang on. Oh, for the audio cube. It's another audio recording, right. Hang on. Okay, uh, I don't know any codes that would open this door, do I? I'm assuming it's not 501, or the, uh, the one I used last time. I'll have to have another look around, I think. But Biomed Hub, perhaps that leads to the admin section? Bloody hell, what happened to him? Is this a fellow clue? What was that? Was that the door? Weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, is that a fellow clone? Is that what I look like? What happened to him? Oh, Jesus, look at his head. He wasn't killed by one of the monsters, I don't think. Someone stuck a screwdriver in the back of his head. Jesus Christ. Good to know. Alright, so this is the locker room. It must be, yeah, okay. Okay, post-it note. Let's have a look. Robert, you dick. You lost the bet, so pay up. Winky face. I've seen quite a few winky faces so far. All on poster notes, really. Right, what's on that tablet? Something's telling me it's going to be quite important. Turns out, yeah, it is. Okay, reach admin section. And there you go, there's the code. Uh, 54969. None of these tech dumbasses will remember anything longer than three numbers. Well, alright. That might be a bit harsh. They've got some talented specimens. Grayson is talented. He would remember, I guess. Alright. Okay, 54969. Nine. Great. Something over here as well? Reach. After the spill of information from Egypt, the cult found its way to every corner of the world. At least a handful of camps appeared on every continent, with communities organized around the cult of Fantaruk. Despite the absolute lethality of the virus, more and more fresh acolytes joined the cult who could proclaim the good tidings to the world if they recovered. The potential was immense. Okay, so this is how it, it spread. It spread from Egypt. What spill of information exactly? I'd like to know more, please. Ah, I thought that might have been another syringe then, but it wasn't glowing. Um, okay, anything else here? Loads more, loads more chairs. Any more information? Newspapers? So when are we going to do last night again? Kisses. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if uh, looking at those is ever going to really pay off, but it's kind of enjoyable. Right. 54969. Nine. Let's try that with that keypad. Damn, son. Okay. So. 54969. Nine. Yep. Nice. Okay, buy a med hub. And the audio log? Today may be the beginning of the end of my career as the captain of Purity Zero Two. I hacked into the database of the research section. Most of the data was encrypted, but I managed to gain access to some of it. A part of me still refuses to believe it. Mentions here and there. No specifics. A few pieces of information. Smallpox S387, the disease that killed my daughter and a few billion other people. Scraps of data. There isn't enough evidence. H Plus Corporation had to know something. All these years I kept asking God why this had to happen. 
Is this finally his reply? These fragments of the truth? From what I can see, a picture is emerging of a chaos that is engulfing all of us. It's enveloping us and leading us. But I don't know where. Fantaruk. Right, okay. If there's like one improvement that I'd like to see actually in a future patch or something, I'd like to see the subtitles actually kind of synchronized with what is being said, what I'm hearing. Because, um, you know, if I, if I was relying on the subtitles, I'd have like a second to read like 20 words then. And that was really weird. But okay. So, this H Plus Corporation with all their clones, are they trying to like offset the damage that the smallpox virus has done to the population? Like by replacing everyone who died with a clone or... Were they behind the smallpox virus? I don't know. Alright, let's see, shall we? So... Oh shit, what's my status? It was glowing before. Okay, <laughs> not anymore. 96%. That calls for another injection, I think. So, right, we can go in here. In slow-mo. Hang on. There's a guy in there. Oh god, there's a couple of guys in there. What happened to him? Jesus Christ, hang on. He might have one of my syringes. Next to a... a tablet or something. Whoa, okay. Should I be wary of these guys? Maybe it was these guys who stabbed that other guy back there in the in the head with a screwdriver. I don't know, to be honest, this is... Oh crap, I can go straight through. Really? Okay. Hi there. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick this up, if you don't mind. What did I just pick up? That looked like it might have been another ID card, actually. Uh... It's an emergency card, right, and I guess I don't need the other ones anymore, so I threw them away. So that's for opening a technical door. Right. And is that... Yeah. It is. That's another antidote syringe. Cheers. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess I don't really need to be too wary of him. We remember. We all know that research on modern drugs, sooner or later, reaches a stage where the only thing left to be done is to run tests on human bodies. That is why at H Plus Corporation, we remember the people who have risked their health to prove the efficacy of our drugs. We never forget about those who have given their lives to help us remove the imperfections of our products in time. The world will never forget them, because humanity matters. Okay, so, uh, really taking this human eugenics thing quite seriously. Print this report out for me, okay. Refrigerator pin 4830. Four, eight, you know what? 4830? Okay, I'm gonna write that down on a piece of paper. There we go. Because it's a post-it note, I'm assuming I, I don't make a record of that, so... If I ever find a refrigerator, I will, uh, I'll try that. Christ almighty, then. So, these are, these are test subjects, are they? My, oh my. Uh, okay, let's just keep exploring. Perhaps we can find some more syringes around here. That'd be kinda nice. Actually doesn't seem all that bad so far. I think I was just uh, I was in a kind of state of urgency and tension the first the first episode because I missed a couple of syringes, but I seem to be finding more now, and I can I can sit back and relax just a little bit. Oh, they're up and about. They actually move. Okay. What's this? Right. Would you happen to have a key? So this corridor, what well, connects to the to the corridor I was in a moment ago? Okay, there's a couple of items over here. What happened to you? All those holes on his chest and oh, oh Jesus, Jesus! Okay, this one uh, I guess doesn't like the light shined on him or something. <laughs> Let's just get the hell out of here. Or I don't know. Okay, bloody hell. Um, sure. That's kind of freaky. Maybe he just wanted to say hi? I'm not sure. It seemed a bit sudden to me. Where'd he go? Hang on. Did he go in there? Oh, he's rejoining his friends. Maybe that's for the best. Okay. That gave me a bit of a start, honestly. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go through here. Obviously, the door's open. He proved that to me. This wouldn't happen to be the refrigerator, would it? I guess not. But I need a key for it. Okay. What we got here? Got another tablet and uh, some more flashlight batteries. But anyway, I wonder if they would like an experiment like this. 
Give one of the clones the unlocking code to a few more clone tubes. I even uploaded the code to the database to see what would happen. 7843. Would meat take care of other meat by freeing it? Or maybe it would stay loyal to its creators? I wonder about the result and whether the eggheads in Biomed have already invented that supreme being. Now, was it supposed to be the perfect emotional human being? Or the perfect cold-blooded soldier? I've lost track of all their arguments. <laughs> okay. 7843, that's another code. Interesting. Brilliant. So... Maybe they were trying to make the perfect soldier and the results of the experiments are in that room. This is kind of nice. Okay, um... Let's, let's keep going. Hang on. Is that a door over there? Nope. Nope, never mind. False alarm. <laughs> no, but genuinely, I'm actually really quite impressed with this. Are you guys still enjoying it? Let me know in the comments, by the way. And if you've got any hints and tips, please let me know. Okay, are these, uh, are these card readers? Yeah, okay. Might have been that card that I picked up a moment ago, actually. Oh, and that one as well? It activates all of them at once. Okay. Right. What's going on here? Huh. Hi. Are you going to rush at me? He doesn't know where he is. Is he even human anymore? He doesn't really have control of his faculties, it seems. Let's just stay away from him, I guess. This way? Bloody hell, okay. Um, in here? Oh, hello. Oh, what's that? Is that another syringe? Oh, okay. Do they just, like, spin around every now and then? Seems so. Well, maybe when he's not looking, I can just pick this up. There you are. Okay, anything else to find in here? I don't think so. And that, what, leads back to to this room. Okay, alright. Well, well, well. This is quite a big area. Lots of test subjects like myself. I guess they were grown in the biotanks like I was, and then they were brought out when they reached adult size and experimented on. Oh, hello. We have aroma. Uh, I want to stay away. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to stay away. I think they get triggered by the light, possibly. Maybe I should... Maybe I should uh, just... Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, maybe I should just keep my flashlight off. Right. Okay. I think they're just trying to scare me away. I don't think they necessarily want to hurt me. Let's go in this way. This guy seems okay. He's still quite docile. Oh, Jesus. Just everywhere. Uh, excuse me. This is an automatic door, is it not? There we are. There we are. 97%. That calls for another syringe. got the sort of containment cells. The hell is that? Seriously, what the hell is that? Hang on. What was that? Hang on. What was that code? Uh 7843. That's the one. Jesus Christ. Is that what I th That's a fucking head. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, maybe I really don't want to be near these guys. Maybe they do wish me harm. I'm actually quite uh, unnerved at this situation right now. Okay. Just walk through here. That's kind of cool. That symbol again. What does it all mean? Any theories in the comments would be much appreciated. You're the nicest person on the ship. Oh, thank you very much. You're probably right, actually. Virtually everyone else wants to wants to hurt someone. I just want to get out of here, I think. It's not going to be this way, though, is it? Okay. So, let me just have a look at what I picked up. It was a head, right? Yeah. Richardson's head. Cut off head of staff's member. Probably. Not even his full head. Jeez. Why have I picked that up? That's just unnecessarily macabre from uh, from my point of view. 
Is that guy dead? Oh! Bloody hell. This is great. <laughs> I'm finding loads of syringes around here. I guess I was right at the start of the video. There are a hell of a lot of syringes around here. The administration hub, though. Look at this. Oh! Eyeball scanning! That's why I picked up the head. Right, that makes more sense. <laughs> How could I have known? No idea. What's that? I have a key for something. What was this? It is the tech key. Used to open tool storages and cabinets, apparently. Uh, okay. Is that some sort of force field? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, you can see it, where it comes out. Alright. What's this? Oh! That's what I saw earlier! The, oh, that's why I've got the key! And so I have to go back through. And that's where I'm going, the administration hub. Okay. Alright, well, a uh, bit of backtracking for me to do. Anything around here? Oh, it's just that blocked up door, I bet, yeah. And, uh, parts of a body. Is that a syringe? No, it's a screwdriver. Almost like he fell down with the screwdriver in his hand. Maybe he's the culprit to the murder that I saw at the beginning. I don't know. Jeez, man. Alright, so I'm not going to shine my flashlight in any of their faces. I'm going to try and stay away from them. I don't know if it's like a proximity thing or it's a light thing, but... Providing I don't piss them off, I should be able to just travel through with no problems. Let's go this way again. Yeah, that guy's kind of like caught in between the beds. Very creepy. So this is the key I was looking for. Right. Great. That's the power note. That's it. Should we go through this way again? This seems to be the safest route. It worked last time. Okay, through here. Yep. I'm really expecting that guy to run out of his cell and just come after me because he obviously has violent tendencies. Somehow rip that guy's head in half. Shit. Okay, here we are. So the power node has to go in the slot there. Got it. Okay. Oh, very fancy. Does that deactivate the shield? Like force field things or? Please remove the clone's clothing before initiating the procedure. Press OK to continue. Uh, okay. You want me to strip down? What the hell's all this? What? Oh, that's maybe where I put my uh, my clothes. Or well, the suit I found, right, okay. Yeah, Please I guess I'm naked. The clone complete the test. Press we have a test? When the clone is ready. Okay, I'm getting like a real heavy soma vibe from this bit. Are you a human being? Really? A really heavy vibe. Are you a human being? Yes. Wrong. Let's <laughs> restart to retake the test. That's not a good start, is it? Okay, Are sure. Are you a human being? I guess no. Where were you born? I wasn't born, I was created. Are you free? No, I guess. Who is your owner? My owner. My owner is H Plus Corporation. The clone has successfully passed the test. Jeez. Press OK to proceed to the marking procedure. I don't like the sound of that for some reason. Is that why I had to take my clothes off? What is this? Oh my god, they look sharp as shit. Oh god. I'm, I'm getting squeamish thinking about what might happen here. Oh, okay, they're just... Yeah, it's plastic. Ooh! You'd think after all this time I'd be okay with needles, but you'd be wrong. Are they pumping something into me, or...? A little bit of blood. Okay. Still looks like a decent hand. Oh shit. Okay. I've got a barcode. 
Right. They are my owners now. It says right here on my wrist. Bloody hell. Right, uh... 99%. This is outrageous. Yeah, another injection. I just can't get enough of needles right now. Can I, uh... Can I get my clothes back, or am I just doing this in the nude from now on? There we are. There we are. Thank you. So, was that absolutely necessary, or was that just like a voluntary exercise? The is ready to serve in the administrative quarters. Right. Press OK to continue. Maybe it depends on what sort of scan or, or barcode you get. Uh, okay. Okay, so... Oh, they're not lit up anymore. They're not there anymore. Okay, so we can head to the administration hub. Blimey. Oh, look at this. Nice view of outside. Where are we? Are we even near Earth? Are we even in that galaxy? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, right, okay, this, I assume, is going to be another loading screen, so this is probably going to be another save point. Scanning initiated. Overall infection, 30%. Vital functions, normal. All right, hopefully everything has been saved, so I am going to say thank you very much for watching part three of Fantaruk. I'm really enjoying playing this game, hopefully you're really enjoying this playthrough as well. I guess join me back next time where we'll traipse through the admin area in part four, and uh, well, I guess you can expect getting involved in office politics, doing a lot of copying, and uh, based on what we've seen so far, probably completing a lot of incident reports and sending them to HR. So uh, yeah, see you next time. This is a door, yeah? Okay, good. Not good. Is this a fellow claw? What was that? All those holes on his chest and- Oh, oh Jesus! Uh, I want to stay away- Oh, yeah! Definitely want to stay away! I'm getting, like, a real heavy Soma vibe from this bit. Are you a human being? Really. A really heavy vibe. Are you a human being? Yes. Wrong. <laughs> Let's restart 